All right, guys, so this will be our base scene that we're going to use in order to learn all the basic instructions for the Tweedo Suite PLC. Uh, we're going to use this to learn our XIC, XIO, on delay, off delay, and some counters as well. So here we can see that there's a conveyor. Uh, we have an emitter and a collector on the other side. Uh, we've got a ramp to drop all of our pallets down. And we've got this electrical box, and on the electrical box, we've got a number of switches. We've got uh, a stop, a start, a reset and some lights to indicate when each of those guys are on. We have an e-stop and we have a selector switch as well. On the top end here, there's a siren here, and we also have a number of indicator lights on the top as well. So let's build this up nice and slow. So let's <clears throat> maybe move over here. Let's take a new spot here, and we'll drop in all of our components. Okay, we've got uh, all of our units that we're gonna use right here. Uh, this is called the pallet window. If the pallet window isn't available and you click on here and it doesn't come up like this, um, then hit play, hit stop, and it should reset it to allow you to get to the pallet window. Okay, so we're gonna open this guy up. Uh, let's start off with the conveyor first. So let's drop down, I'm gonna use the six meter conveyor and drop this bad boy in. Looks good. And once I've got the conveyor there, then I need to put the uh, I think this is called the emitter, yes. Now whenever I hover over any of these guys, the name will come up right here. So you can see that this is the emitter. I'm going to press the left mouse button and drag that guy over. And you can see that it's not able to sit on top of the conveyor. So I'm going to press the V button to change it vertically. There we go. Now I can move it on top of the conveyor. And then pressing the V button again, I can drop it down on top. Let's double left click on the conveyor and zoom in with the mouse roller just to make sure that everything's lined up nicely. And we can see that this is skewed by a little bit, so we're gonna move it over. There we go, and that looks pretty good. Let's double left click to provide us with a new reference point. That dot is our reference point that we can now rotate around. And that looks gorgeous. Okay, it looks good. So we'll hit File, Save As. I'm calling this the Tweedo PLC conveyor scene. You can call it whatever you wish. And we'll save this guy. Okay, that'll just keep track of all the changes that we make. Okay, next thing we need is this ramp. Now, where do we find this ramp? It is right here, the shoot conveyor low. So I'm gonna press the left mouse button, drag this guy over, and I'm going to drop it in. Now, if this isn't oriented properly, then like say it was like this, then you right click on the unit, you hit yaw, and then you just hit plus or minus, and every time you do that, it moves 90 degrees. Okay, I'm now gonna move this guy over so it matches up with my conveyor. I'm gonna hit the V to drop her down. There we go, it looks good. And let's just line it up. Well, it looks like it's still off by a bit. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, it's still off by a little bit. So let's hit the V, we'll drop her down so it's sitting on the floor, and then we'll move it closer to the conveyor. Ah, yes, looks good. Okay, yeah, looks good. Now, this marking right here on the conveyor tells me that that's the direction which the conveyor rollers are going to roll. So we're good. We've got the emitter on the one side. We're now going to put this guy right here. What's the name of this guy? The remover. So again, the name is appearing right here. So we're going to grab the remover, drag it over, and again, you can see that it's uh, hovering above the floor. So I'm going to hit V. Drop this bad boy down. It's hitting this um, this chute there. So I'm going to move it over, press the V again, drop her down, and then line it up with everything else. So grab this bad boy, move it over, and that looks good. Okay, so now we've got the emitter and the remover. We'll just save as we go. Looks good. Now, on this end, I'd like to have a diffuse sensor to keep track of uh, how many components are going by. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to scroll down until I see some sensors here. What's this guy? This is retroreflective sensor uh, right here, diffuse sensor. So I'm going to grab this guy right here. I'm going to drag it over. Again, it doesn't look like it's working out with the conveyor, so I'm going to press the V and lift it up. There we go. And we'll drop it onto the conveyor. I'm going to double left click and then holding the right mouse button, I'm going to zoom in and see if that lines up 
nicely. That looks good. Beautiful. Okay, so a diffuse sensor is just one that sends out light, hits the palette, and then comes back to the receiver here. It doesn't need to have a receiver on the other side, and it doesn't need to have a reflector. It just hits, the light goes out, diffuses out, and the diffuse light comes to the receiver. Looks good. So now that we've got that, let's drop in our electrical box here with all of our push buttons. So that electrical box is right here. They call it electric switchboard. I'm going to press down my left mouse button and drag this guy over until it sits there. And let's double left click on the conveyor and zoom in and see how that looks. Looks good. Okay, we may want to grab this guy and just drop her down just a touch. Looks good there. Beautiful. Okay, let's double left click and then move around to the front face. And I'm just going to back up a touch. And I'm going to start off with the stop push button. So let's find that one. We need a red stop push button. Okay, so we're going to grab this guy, drag it over. Now we've gone too far. Looks good. And we'll drop her in right there. Okay, in addition to that, I need a red indicator light. So it says light indicator red. That's exactly what I need. And I'm going to drag that guy over. Uh, it looks like I've got to lift it up a touch and then push it up against the, the box. Nice. Let's double left click, hold the right mouse button down now and zoom in to make sure that everything's sitting right on the front. Looks good. We'll zoom back out again and let's put in our green indicator light. Okay, it looks like it's got to go down a touch, so we'll hit the V, drop her down. Easy now, I had it. Come on, cooperate with me. There we go. And we need a green start push button. Whoa, easy now. So anytime you make a mistake, just hit undo. Okay, so I'm going to hit the green push button. Bring this guy over. Okay, hit the V to lift her up and push it up against the box. Very nice. Let's hit save again. And mimicking this guy over here, I'm going to have a reset push button. So, and I'm going to have a yellow indicator light. So, we're going to lift this up a touch. There we go. And what's nice is it locks in with all the other units that are there, <clears throat> in that they're all the same height. And now I need that reset push button. So, I'm going to grab that guy. Now, it says reset. We can rename it whatever we want at a later date. Okay, so that's good. And then if we take a look here, we've got an e-stop on the bottom. So I'm going to grab the e-stop and put it in. And then, I mean, once you get a feel for it, you get fairly proficient at uh, putting all your units on there. And then we need a selector switch. So there's a selector switch. And here you can just make out that it says selector state one, state zero. We can change those names later on as well. Looks good. Let's double left click. And then we're going to right click to provide us with that dot for reference. Nice. We can see that everything's sitting nicely on top of our box. Okay. In addition to that, we need a siren. Where is that siren? Right here. Grab this guy and drop it on. Looks like we need to lift it up. So we're going to hit the V and then we'll drop her on top there. Looks good. And the light stack is right here. So we're going to stack light. Grab this guy. Oh, that looks like it's working out nicely. And we'll double left click, then right click. And that looks absolutely gorgeous. Right on. Looks good. So now we've duplicated everything. We can, I believe, grab all these things and delete. We can grab this conveyor, get rid of this guy. Bam, 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 bam. Right on. Looks good, guys. Okay, so now we're set up with our base scene that we can use. Uh, and now we're going to have the Tweedo PLC talking to this guy. But that's a good start, guys. So we've been able to set up the, uh, the scene here. And the next thing we'll do is we'll start up our Tweedo Suite program. We'll put in a base two wire program. And then we'll get her talking to this scene right here through the drivers. But we'll stop there. So keep going in the playlist, guys. And we'll see you in the next video.